Good morning, everyone. Today is my first fishing trip back from Alaska, which is sad, but isn't too bad because that means I get to fish with Shad today. Today we are going to be doing some top water frogging for largemouth bass. And if anyone Venmo's me $5, I'll tell you exactly where we're fishing and send you the coordinates. But anyway, hoping to have a good day. <laughs> All right, little weightless. Apparently, they're not digging the top water today, or so it seems so far. So we we're going with a little weightless Cinco. Another large mouth? Or a walleye. Is that walleye? No, it's a walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. Big walleye. It's a nice walleye. I assume you want him? Oh, yeah. Okay. Kind of all the way. Yeah. We're hooked up. Another walleye on. Our top water day for uh, large mouth bass has turned into a cranking for smallmouth, largemouth, and mostly walleye. Oh, in the boat. <laughs> now two walleye in the boat. Imagine we just pulled up on a school of walleye. Another one. Maybe a smallmouth that's gonna jump. I don't know, largemouth. Another good sized largemouth though. There's one. Did I lose it? Yeah. Lost it. No, he's on still. Yep, I'm hooked up. Oh, whatever it is, it feels good. I think I saw something, something chasing me. Oh, it's running at me now. Oh, wait, wait, are you right? Okay. Oh, I have no clue what this is, but holy crap. Oh my god, what is that? Did you see that? Was that what that was? I think it might be. That was huge. Oh, giant. Holy crap. <laughs> Fit him in that net. Took it in there. Goodness. Did you get that net? Wow. That is a big sheep net. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute toad. There's one. Okay. Probably not. Oh, I have no clue, but it's staying down hard. I don't know. It's a digging again, though. Pull and drag like crazy. <laughs> it's probably another sheep head the way this thing's fighting. We're just gonna stay here for a little, a little while. Yeah. I have no clue. I haven't even seen it yet, but it just keeps falling drag. Oh yeah, I have to see. Probably bigger than the last one. <laughs> what in the world? I'm starting to guess this isn't a sheep head because it could be catfish. Yeah, I was gonna say it hasn't given up yet. Normally a sheephead give up by now. This is definitely not a sheephead, whatever it is. Five bucks. Five bucks is a I say it's sheephead. You think so? Yeah. It's still not giving up. Look at it. I, I think it's a giant ass sheephead. With a butthole the size of a <laughs> pop can. I just wanna know what it is at this point. Come on, just come up. I can't tell you how much pressure I'm putting on this thing too. Oh, yeah. I want to see what it is now. No, no catfish. Holy crap. Crap, that's a massive catfish. Whoa! We're gonna have to get scale after that one. Okay. Dang! Oh, just skin hooked too. Oh, that came out so easily. My golly. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get a picture with that thing. <laughs> Here. 
gonna be that thing. Here you go. Put the noggin on it and the belly. Wow. Alright, let's get a weight. Now you're hooked up. Let me know if you need the net. Oh, nice smallmouth. Oh, yeah. You're gonna need a net on that. Nice smallmouth. You just missed him. Let's do it again. He looks hooked pretty well. Got him in the net. Ooh, buddy. Yeah. Wow. Get a weight on both these guys. Right, let's see. Looks like a 10 pound catfish. Time to let him go though. He's still squirming around? He's still pissy. Damn, son. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at that thing. Oh. Easy, pal, easy. <laughs> four, three. Four, four. Four, thirty-five. Good one. Yeah. Four and a half pound smallie, 10 pound catfish. Another one. In there. Hold on, let's get a double up. Come on. Oh, maybe it's a large mouth. But it's fast. It's not a bad one either. You gonna yeah. flip him? Yep. Alright. In the boat. That's a nice one too. He's healthy. I got one. Hooked up. That was on like a real weird color too. It's a mate. That's surprising. Feels like a walleye. I got one. Oh, nope, that is not a walleye. And that would be I don't know. Mr. I think it is a walleye. Oh yeah, that is a walleye. I think you have a walleye too. Holy crap. It was double bag them. Alright, I'll get mine first. Actually here bring yours to me. Oh mine got off. Dang, Mr. Walleye, come here. Where are you? In the net. <laughs> nice. We just doubled up on walleyes. We're stacking them up. Out here in this little water. I mean, we're in like 12 foot of water right now. So we got three in the box right now. Yeah, yours got, it was a little smaller, so it got to the surface a lot faster. Whoa, whoa, let me talk about mine being small. <laughs> Not on camera. No, nah, obviously not. <laughs> Cause I I'm not hooked up right now. That's a nice. That's another walleye right there. We are kind of cross. Now we are. Now we are. Cause I dropped it. Oh. oh dang it! Thanks for me to catch another walleye. Catch your walleye. I've never seen you lose a bass before. <laughs> but on the contrary, I don't think you've. Ever I don't think I've lost too many walleye, but I lose bass quite often. They're still out there. I imagine, I just, I think we might have used up that color. Uh, DT8 going on. No, a DT8, but just different color. Dark blue. There's one. I don't know, feels like a walleye. Yeah, I'd get the net. This feels like a walleye. You want me to net it, not like two. You worry about yours first. <laughs> oh, I thought mine. Well, mine was closer for a second. Is it a walleye? I can't tell you that. Yep. Yes, sir. -y. And the net. Yes. <laughs> well, there you have it. Change up colors and catch some more fish. It's got a summer colors on. Oh, there's one. Oh my God, that one smoked it. This one's gonna be down its throat. It's all right, you keep reeling your fish, I can edit. I promise you I it's down fish. its throat. Oh, that's a big walleye. <laughs> that might just be, oh, come here, buddy. Get him. Nice. 
That's a big summertime walleye right there. That's at least 20. I'm gonna throw him, up, throw him on the measuring stick. Back-to-back -back cast, keeper walleye. This is a nice treat to come home to. 20 inches. And we're hooked up again. Another good walleye? Yeah. Okay. And we're at, oh! <laughs> <laughs> that one's bigger than the last one. Man, look at the colors on his head and everything. Jeez. We're having a better day of walleye fishing in the middle of July than we do jigging for him in April. I'm gonna let you reel for a little while and then I'm gonna... I'm already hooked up. Oh goodness, well then I'm gonna start reeling. Yeah. And I'm hooked up. <laughs> Are you kidding? There's a net, the net is right by down to the left and another nice walleye too. I'm, gonna be, I'm reeling and fi filming at the same time. Let's see. In the net. All right, get that net ready again. Mm -hmm. We got a double bagger incoming, baby. Oh, what is that? Sheephead. He's not going in the net. Going in the net. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that thing up again. Golly. There we go. Sheephead goes back. Walleye goes in the box. Straight out the back like where we have been. Oh my god. That one hammered it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes, sir. Ooh, feeling like a Mr. Wally. Am I on you? I might be on you. Yeah, I am. There you go, I'm off you now. I'm gonna go behind you, in front of you. Yep, yep. Stepping down. I love how we're just assuming they're walleye now every time. This doesn't, this feels like a smallmouth. Mm, it hasn't jumped. There it did. <laughs> there it did. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice smallmouth. Good eater size. Whoa. Throw him in the box. Oh, he's going all box. over. I'll put him in the box, but you're going back in the water. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. There he is. Everybody has to be able to jump. What'd you just say? What about walleye? I said everybody has to deal with some junk fish when you're bass fishing. Finally got him. Like, he's going sideways with it, you know? There's one. That feels like a good one, too. He nailed it. I don't know. That's a walleye, another big walleye. <laughs> another nice big walleye. He choked him. Oh, jeez. On the tube. You think that's what you had biting at you, too? Probably. Dang. Stop wanting to bite crankbaits, put on a tube, and he nailed that thing. Another 20 incher. So that makes three 20 inch walleye in the boat today. Surprise, surprise. You didn't want to catch the walleye, so you let me do it. No bass. Oh, yeah. I think that's probably the best large monster. Walla, 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 walla. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, look at where that thing is. <laughs> they know how to get those things now. I don't want to hurt his gills. Oh, wait. 
There's one. I just picked up on him. He has this thing probably down his throat too. I can't tell what it is just yet. Yes. Yeah, right. There's one. Same exact spot, he just caught that walleye. Walleye and largemouth living together in sin. Spotted him. Got him. Another walleye? Mm. I don't know. I don't think so. But I could be wrong. Another walleye. Is it? Yep. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's probably the biggest of the day right there. I don't know. We need to count. Can you believe that? We're bass fishing. We got to count how many walleye we have. In the box. You want that? See one more. Ten. Any more in there? Ten. We're at ten. Ten wall. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> I just got hammered. Bass or sheep head? Looks big. It does. Big walleye, hot walleye. Big sheephead. See it? Yeah. I'm in a sheephead magnet. Mm -hmm. I don't catch those things. I mean, he cranked it. Come on, either come off or something. There we go. What'd you net him for? <laughs> Get him back out there. I don't want to see him anymore. Oh. Already yeah, you actually you netted him as soon as he came unhooked. Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> Finally get yourself a big old sheep head? I might have. Oh man. Big old sheep head. Oh look, there's, there's bass following him around. Is it? There was. Yeah, he, he took off, but yeah, there's bass following him around. Show you how to get rid of these. Oh, I caught the bass that was falling around. Nice. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, you hooked up. There's one. What, there's a walleye? Nice. Right, right, right. Got him. Where'd you cast that at? On well, that catfish, we'll get into. I think I'm just snagged. Yeah, I'm snagged. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. It started fighting back. Something picked it up and ran it off the snag. Oh, yeah. Because there was no way when I was. There's a fish. Now I'm hooked up. Probably. I'm guessing that's why I felt snagged at first. Goodness gracious. Let's just see what it is. A 30 inch walleye. Or a seven pound smallmouth. Yeah, we probably would have dumped though. Yeah, it's a sheep head. Yeah. <laughs> These things are massive today. Then you have to bring them in the boat. So we like to bleed out the fish that we eat and just so you know how to do it. So you see those gills right there? What you do, you just take a pair of scissors, get all those gills right there, and you just clip them down. And that bleeds out your walleye, make them a lot prettier fillets and easier to clean as well. You don't have to deal with so much slime and blood on the, on the table. This is one of the walleyes that we caught today, and I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet one with an electric fillet knife. Now, with an electric fillet knife, 
I don't think you can get as much as you normally can with a regular blade, but we fillet tons of walleye every year, hundreds probably. And this is just the most fast and effective way for us to get it done. Just like that. And then we take out the rib cage with just a normal blade. You just come right at the top of the rib cage, right top there. Just run your knife all the way down. And then just nice big swoops. Just like that. There's all your rib bones. Keeps all the belly meat intact right there. That's one filet ready for the dinner table. Welcome to the kitchen, and here is some of that walleye that we caught yesterday, nice and white. That is because we bled them out after we caught them, and I am in the mood for some fried fish, so that's what I'm gonna make today. We got some oil in a pot heating up, and next I'm going to trim up this walleye just a little bit, take out the zipper meat like I've shown before, and we're gonna get fried up. And there we have our nice boneless, skinless, walleye fillets right there, nice and white. I do not think that bleeding a fish out makes it taste any difference. I've done side-by-side -side comparisons before, but I do think it preserves the freshness of the fish a lot longer than not bleeding the fish out. Now I got my walleye fillets all nice and portioned up. And I've shown this method before, but I'm just gonna use the bag method where you take it, all your fillets, toss them in a bag just like this. And then next, I'm gonna take some Red Hot and I'm going to dump some of that into the walleye bag. About that much. Get all your fillets nice and coated. Now you can do this with any white meat or anything that you want, to, or any white fish, or any meat that you feel like frying up. Now with walleye, it's so mild and so it has such a great taste itself, I'm not gonna let this marinate at all. If you're gonna use catfish, I would definitely suggest marinating this at least for 10 minutes, if not that, in the pickle juice to get rid of some of that fishy flavor that catfish carries. It's now time for the second bag. So we're going to take some Whisker Seeker fish fry. If you guys have never had this stuff, this is some great fish fry. It's the Cajun mix. That's the only one I've ever tried and I absolutely love it. And pour that fish fry right into that bag. And then you're going to take your fillets from your Red Hot bag drop them into your fish fry bag. Now you could do this with really anything as the uh, fish fry goes. You could use flour, seasoned flour. You can go with cornmeal, corn flakes, um, panko breadcrumbs, another a different kind of fish fry if you like a Louisiana fish fry. Next you're going to close up your bag and you want to make sure there's a little bit of air in there. That way it creates a nice area for all that seasoning fish fry to get tossed around and coat up your fish. Now you can see that fish is nice and coated. It's time to put in the pot of oil, creating almost no mess whatsoever. Yeah, no dishes to do it. Now, when you're cooking these, it's not gonna take long whatsoever. All you're looking for is that golden brown color, however long that takes, two, three minutes. As long as your fish isn't starting out frozen, I can promise you it will be done once it reaches that color. Now what we got going on is we're gonna take our, some of our fillets, break this one in half, have a sandwich, and all we got underneath that is some mayo and jalapenos. I like spicy stuff, so I'm also <laughs> gonna add some sriracha to the top of this. A little pile of rice with sriracha on top of it as well. And then I'm just gonna eat some pieces all by themselves. Now I've had this recipe before, so I know what the fish is gonna taste like all by itself, but I'm really excited for the sandwich. That is some good stuff. If you've never had walleye before, and especially you know, one that was swimming yesterday and never been frozen, it's like eating bricks of butter, basically. Just melts in your mouth. Such a clean taste. Perfectly done on the inside. But anyway, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I uh, just got back from Alaska. This is my first fishing trip back after going to Alaska. I got tons of videos up. Uh, if you want to go back and check those out, those are some absolute amazing videos. Bangers, I must say. But other than that, catch you on the next one.